Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Um, thank you for uh, joining me today. I wanted to just show you what happened uh, yesterday on February 26, 2022, a revival meeting we had using video conferencing software over in Pakistan. Uh, this revival meeting was held with uh, an evangelist named Adnan and his team of four fellows that helped him. They're very faithful and great ministers and anyway they wanted me to speak uh, across their laptop <laughs> connected to a, a speaker with Bluetooth and uh, they had a crowd of between I don't know probably about 75 to 100 people there not sure how many showed up they kept getting bigger as the meeting went on and uh, so they had a man who could translate, Imran, who was pretty good with English, and so I gave him a scriptural list before I began. I gave them uh, um, Acts chapter 2, 1 through 4, uh, Acts 19, 2 through 6, Acts 10, 43 through 48, 2 Corinthians 7, 9 through 11, and of course Acts 2, 37 and 38. And uh, they wanted me to teach on water baptism in the name of Jesus. And it's very cold there. You can see the people that showed up mainly were children and women to begin with, but men started to come in. Many uh, Muslims, of course, also were listening to the gospel for the, maybe for the first time. And at the end of the meeting, we had a healing session, and uh, we would speak the word of faith, and Adnan would lay hands on people along with his team members. Many of them were sick. They have no health care for these people. <clears throat> If they do have to go to a hospital, they would have to pay for it out of their own pocket. They just don't have the resources for it. So you'll see many of the children were sick, and uh, their mothers brought them up for prayer. <clears throat> anyway, uh, at the end of that, loaves and fishes time. So they would order a uh, with a contractor a bunch of food and then begin to feed the people. And uh, you can't possess this world's goods and leave people hungry. And that's the way it works over there. <clears throat> These people, uh, uh, they're hungry. They're, they're, they're only making $8 a day at this brick factory. Many of the kids that you see are actually employed making bricks. It's almost like Pharaoh and the Egyptians and the Jews, okay, the Hebrews in Old Testament times. The worship is a cappella. And uh, those of you that need music to worship, you're about to witness what happens during New Testament times. Very few New Testament synagogues or churches had instruments, and they would worship a cappella and praise the name of Jesus. And that's what you're about to witness today. So you'll see their traditional dress. This is Pakistani dress. It almost takes us back to New Testament times. And... Um, You'll see that the women are covered. This is called the dakana. This is a Muslim tradition, a Middle Eastern tradition, which, uh, of course, Paul said that uh, a woman's hair was given to her for a covering and, and wanted to get rid of the dakana. And uh, he wanted to get rid of the uh, Jews wearing wigs, females wearing wigs. And he said, your long hair is given to you for a covering. So I thought that was part of their culture and their tradition. Um, very beautiful colors, but they're very, very poor. A Bible over there costs about uh, $6, and uh, we get that through the Pakistani uh, Bible Society. So if you are able to contribute in any way uh, to help these people uh, get a Bible, they need reading materials, Dick and Jane type stuff, just to learn how to read. Their language is Urdu, U-R-D-U, and many of them would like to learn some English because, of course, the British occupied uh, Pakistan and India uh, back in the 19th century. And uh, a lot of that culture is left behind. So uh, these guys are very faithful. Uh, they have to pay for a lot of these meetings out of their own pocket. And we are just happy to, happy to help them uh, preach the gospel, water baptism in Jesus' name, and, of course, spirit baptism as well. So, thank you, thank you. Uh, hope you enjoy the pictures. Um, Revival is happening. The internet is opening up the world. There are now more mobile devices. There are now three times as many mobile devices as people in the world. And they have internet 
bandwidth actually even in this particular location in Faisalabad which is very remote. So just wanted to let you know about it. Send me your comments and suggestions. If you want to know how I do all this, send me an email at princeofpeacecorps at gmail.com. You can find it on our website and uh, I'll be happy to give you the equipment and things that I use to do this. Okay, God bless you in Jesus' name. And um, here we see the brothers that are Adnan and his team that are helping us uh, evangelize. Uh, I did the preaching in English, and a man named Imra translated there. You'll see a poster of my wife and myself with this guy here on the far left. That is Adnan, and uh, he had quite a crowd there. And what they would do is they would hold up this laptop. In the left-hand corner of the laptop, you'll see me, and in the right-hand corner, you'll see the crowd. <laughs> and uh, they connected this to a speaker through a, through a 3.5 millimeter cable and turned the speaker on. Uh, they might have done it through Bluetooth. I'm not exactly sure, but he was pretty technically competent. Here you'll see him laying hands on somebody during the healing session of the meeting. Many people came up... Uh, for healing. Here's the location. This is the infamous brick factory. Here's the crowd. It kept getting bigger. Many, uh, Adnan told me, many uh, Muslims were also in attendance listening to the gospel for the first time. And this is a very, very poor group of people. They make on average $8 a day you'll see some of the faces. There's Adnan laying hands on a baby that's sick. And uh, here you'll see some uh, people that he's laying hands on that are sick. Here you'll see his team members that are getting involved, uh, closing their eyes, laying hands on, calling out the name of Jesus on them. And uh, here you'll see uh, some of the kids that he's praying for. These are very, very poor children. Many of them cannot read. They need materials to learn how to read. Here he is again, laying hands on people. And I would, I would say in Jesus' name, and then he would say the same. And uh, look at his team. Aren't they wonderful? Look at that. Hands up. Praising the name of Jesus. Got my laptop up over there on the right-hand side. I don't know where they got that laptop, but uh, they're running Windows 10, like many people do, or Chrome. There's a loner listening to the meeting. Been working at that brick factory a long time. And uh, you'll see the crowd starting to get bigger as he's preaching, as they're hearing the speaker, hearing my voice, American, speaking English over the speaker. And these people want to learn English, of course. They're very impoverished because they don't have any education. They're discriminated against. They're not being educated. They can't read or write. It's a big problem. Here they are waving. You want to see <laughs> that? <laughs> waving to me. Look to Jesus. Hallelujah. Salam <laughs> is the <laughs> greeting for hello. Salam means peace. Aren't they beautiful? Look to Jesus, hallelujah. That's a worship. Hello, those of you that are spoiled and can't worship without music, look at this. Just like the New Testament days. And I worship right along with them on the video conference. Clap my hands. Hey Sue, you can hear him say the name of Jesus. They're praising the name of Jesus. Jesus name. 
not a rich man. For him to do this costs him a great deal of money on his own property. Some more pictures up close, laying hands on people. Here he is feeding them, and uh, we supplied the funds from the Summit Church to feed these people. Like Jesus feeds them with loaves and fishes. You'll see the brick background behind them. That's why I put the big brick background behind my camera, so that they would know I'm with them. And here they are eating rice and chapati, which is their bread dish that they like. I didn't see any chapati yet. I saw a lot of rice. Here's the kids that he's feeding. Aren't they beautiful? They get a plate of rice they're sharing. Yeah, they're hungry. He's helping them. They're hungry. They're standing up. Here he is talking to them, translating. Yeah, there she is. She's getting something to eat today. Thank you, Summit people, for your generosity. Here he is. Very solemn, pious man. Good man of God. I would say he is 27 years old, I think he told me. Yeah, 27. Look at his compassion, Christian compassion for the poor. The poor are rich in faith, by the way. There you go, some of his team. They're distributing just like loaves and fishes. Jesus blessed the loaves, handed it to his disciples to hand out. That's what they're doing. They're just... Uh, People are the same all over the world. They have personalities, they have vibes, they have problems. Here he's laying hands on them. What a great meeting. Here he is handing out more food, distributing it. Here are the boys helping out. They have a contractor that brings in a huge bowl of rice that they put on paper plates. And uh, not sure what it costs, but uh, it's not cheap. Oh, there he is. And he does this on occasion. We'll see him uh, in other meetings, I'm sure. Look at that little girl. Is she cute? Is she beautiful? How many of you have children that were be just grateful to have a plate of rice? You know, they complain when they got to eat Cheerios and cornflakes, right? What we ought to do is teach our kids to fast and give up some of their lunch money for Pakistan. Mm -hmm. 
then we enter Jesus kingdom but first we must repent of our sins second Corinthians 7 9 10 11 और इसके लिए हम देखेंगे खुदावन के पाकलाम में से दूसरा करंथ क्यों चैप्टर 9 यप वर्स सेकंड करंथियंस चैप्टर 7 चैप्टर 7 बर्न ऑफ वाटर और ये हमें बपतिस्मा लेने का मतलब है कि हम पानी से नए सिरे से पैदा होते हैं व्हेन वी एंटर जीसस किंगडम and uh, there's the uh, sign that they made they wanted a photograph of my wife and I to uh, show the people they want to see Americans who they are so that's how they advertise the meeting and it seems to be a consistent uh, metaphor over in Pakistan how they do it praise God well I hope you enjoyed the video I'd like to make an appeal to you for two things uh, first I'd like you to pray for brother Adnan in his team. God, he's doing a great work, and I just pray that you would put your prayers on these people. And second, um, if you haven't had an opportunity to contribute, um, you can certainly go to the Summit webpage, 53081church.com, and contribute. And I'd like to say that uh, many of us who live in luxury here in the United States. We are very wealthy compared to these people. And let me tell you, a $10 donation, a $20 donation, a $100 donation goes a long way to help those people over there. Bibles, food, uh, funding an evangelist like Adnan. So whatever you can do, it would be very much appreciated. And in particular, I'd like to uh, I'd like to single out two of our great contributors uh, to this ministry, Mr. Jim Longo and uh, Mr. John Walmer, who have been very generous in helping the people of Pakistan. Thank you, thank you. I ask the Lord to bless you in Jesus' name. Okay, we'll see you next time.